Hey, it's me again. In this video, we're going to talk about the amazing gallbladder. This is part one. Instead of making a very long video, I'm going to make a, uh, a bunch of short little videos so you can really get educated on this vitally important organ. And it is an organ, and it's not an unnecessary uh, organ, and it's not an extra organ. Because what bile does, bile is a substance that helps you extract nutrients from your food. It's stored in the gallbladder. The gallbladder is really just a sac, a storage sac. And so when you eat, it squeezes a certain amount of that substance into the small intestine, into the place where you digest all this food, and it, it starts extracting and breaking down certain nutrients. So, so without this gallbladder, you're always going to be deficient. Without bile, you'll always be deficient in the healthy fats that you need. So fat actually turns into small fat particles called essential fatty acids. Also, we extract vitamins from our fat, uh, vitamin A, D, E, K1, K2, which are very, very essential. We'll get into that in a little bit. But the point is that this gallbladder is very, very important in your health, in your longevity, because of the cascade uh, effect that um, it can have on all these deficiencies. I mean, think about what your brain is made out of. Your brain's made out of fat. It needs DHA, that's a type of healthy fat, to help uh, repair it. It needs um, the essential fatty acids for your nervous system, your cells, your eyes. Um, bile is essential in breaking down cholesterol to avoid gallstones. Uh, bile uh, is essential in absorbing really key nutrients that you really need. So, so basically 700,000 people a year have their gallbladders removed. Um, and so if you have a stone, they just remove it, right? Uh, if you have pain, they just remove it because it can turn really gangrene, but they're not really looking at um, why they have stones um, and some natural remedies. One of the best remedy for stones is to supply purified bile salts back into the body to help break that down. So, so the symptoms of a lack of bile, which could cause gallbladder congestion, is bloating underneath the right rib cage. Okay, so it's underneath the right rib cage um, in, your, in your abdomen, so you feel bloated after you eat. Uh, you may experience belt, belching or burping after you eat. You may experience constipation. Why? Because the bile is the thing that lubricates the colon, so it helps to make things go through. Um, so that's interesting. And then also, it's triggered by a couple things. Number one, protein. Yeah, certain amino acids uh, trigger the release of bile. Also, saturated fats. Yep. So when you become a vegetarian and don't consume animal products or saturated fats, your bile goes way, way, way down. And so a lot of times you start having symptoms of low bile or vitamin A deficiency. That, so the vision at night can't see in the dark. Um, you might have dry skin, your hair dries out, your mouth gets dry, dry eyes. That's all vitamin A deficiency because you're not having enough of the animal fats or saturated fats. That, that, that's where you get vitamin A. Now you might say, well, I eat a lot of carrots, right? I eat a lot of kale. That has vitamin A, but it's a it's a pre-vitamin A, and only about, maybe if you're lucky, 4 to 5% of it converts to the active vitamin A that you really need. The best source of vitamin A is from egg yolks, um, uh, butter, um, certain dairy, uh, and also liver. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't eat liver, but so I get my vitamin A from egg yolks. Now, there's two types of fats that are really easy to digest on the liver and the gallbladder, and that would be Number one, butter, and number two, coconut oil. They contain a type of fat called medium chain triglycerides that are very um, easy and gentle on this system right here. But consuming large amount of greasy saturated fats are very hard on the liver as well as protein. So, and that's why I always recommend having a small amount with a lot of greens. This whole system improves with uh, a lot of bitter vegetables, the kale, the beet leaves, actual beets, arugula, cruciferous. Those are really good if you have a problem with this area, okay? So, that's all I want to cover in part one, and I will see you in part two.